But no, I, I feel middle class India has let us down more. I think in rural India is a little better with animals, but uh, in middle class India, just these rich people who are just, I mean, even the gym I go to in the morning, we have these four or five elderly ladies who want the cats moved out of the way all the time. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, really? That too, I'm talking about the Maidan, the ground area, which is a public ground area, yeah. where they walk and all that. Uh, hut, hut house, go hut house. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man, where does the cat go? I this know. is the last place for the cat to be. Exactly. Just, exactly. Ah, well, I don't know what to do about this. Should we start our own uh, outfit? I think. Huh? Let's, I'm uh, really thinking of. Militant, if you don't mind. <laughs> I personally you take care of the militancy? Huh? Let me take care of the... John Abraham, care. John Abraham is there, he's with us. He's half passing. In Delhi and my mom's friend. Huh was with us and we went to Palika Bazaar. I don't know if you heard of Palika Bazaar. I live there. So, so you know Palika Bazaar, you're roaming about and right. all that stuff. And she lost my mom. We, because we were going to shops and she went somewhere else. So mm. she started going to every shop and said, Nargis ko dekha hai? Nargis ko dekha hai? So suddenly that buzz happened that Nargis is in Palika Bazaar. Oh. And everybody went kind of crazy. But you was know? she like incognito? Where, like no, a no, 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 nothing. Then wh- why didn't people recognize her? Because I think it was so many you years. To see. Yeah. And there were so many years she had not worked in Still movies and stuff off. like that. Huh. And then that word spread and then this crowd happened and we all were like, what the hell is happening here? Mm-hmm. And that was the first time where I think I got kind of like, my God, why are this? Why are so many people coming around, mm. you know, wanting to meet? <laughs> Alright, uh, we've got a lovely guest, uh, Priya Dutt, and of course, as I'm about to inter- introduce her, Abesa has got a coughing attack for some reason. Go ahead, it's alright, we're used to that, our guests are okay with it. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter who comes, he's always a critic. Mm-hmm. Priya, I'm sorry about that introduction. <laughs> That's fine. You're working with a really poor, uh, mediocre crew. <laughs> I mean, we're so bad that if we're mediocre, we're good. It's like that. Uh, let me first start with, uh, why isn't your surname Roncon? I chose to keep my maiden good name. Good decision, frankly. Because I know your uh, husband. Yes. <laughs> He's a few years senior to me from St. Xavier's College. Huh. So when I was uh, 88 or 89, when I went to college for the first time at the age of 16, right? 16, right? 10th standard. And all these girls and all Xavier's, man. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to make an impression. We don't know anyone. And, uh, you know, all these South Bombay school girls were there. And I was like, wow, 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 wow. You know, mm-hmm. um, one of those rare heterosexual <laughs> men, you know. A few of us <laughs> left. And then, you know, these guys came. This guy called Schubert, his friend, who was six foot four. He was just like a neck and a small head with glasses and then really long. I don't know. I don't think God made that guy, but he's a <laughs> lovely fellow. Anyway, so they, they called three, four of us and started the ragging in the canteen. Owen was very much part of it. It was more fun ragging. So yeah, I've heard so many stories about Owen. Yeah, so the problem is not that the <coughs> ragging, there was no physically intimidating or anything. But then all the girls are watching, it's your first impression. I know. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're strutting around, <laughs> you think you're looking decent and all that, and you know. And then it's such a big moment. And then you're, you're kind of, you know, devalued for a few minutes by them. So I made the mistake. So they asked people, what, what do you do? Or, you know, introduce yeah, yourself. Yeah. So boys ahead of me said whatever they said. So I p- understood. Because, so I just went with swimming. I'm a swimmer. So I, I used to swim a little bit, but you know. <laughs> So, he said, oh, so Owen said, okay, swim. So I said, where? He said, on the floor. <laughs> oh, God. So he made me swim on the floor. Like breaststroke. <laughs> oh, on the God. floor, like balancing on my waist and doing the breaststroke. And these hot chicks are looking at me thinking, what a loser. <laughs> and it's not changed since. Yeah, he's still the same. Yeah. He's still he the still same. He still asked me to swim. <laughs> he's like, bro, I've had a bad day. Just show me, Just some, show me you know, some moves. Two lens. <laughs> So that's my introduction to Owen. Subsequently, <laughs> uh, post MTV and when he started working with, uh, uh, who was it, Brian and all? Was yeah, 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 Fountainhead. So then we worked on events and all this. Yeah. So we started drinking together, so we had a much better relationship. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, that always breaks the ice, no? Yeah. Uh, uh, we're anti-alcohol, <laughs> us, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it does. So then I saw the, the second side to Owen, but the first... And of course, he was a champion. At, why are we talking about him? It's your show. <laughs> No, no, it's I, I yeah. feel happy talking about him. He was a champion athlete and also he was a star of the college. I don't yeah. know what you he, know. He used then. to be a uh, uh, hurdler actually. Hurdler, right. Yeah, right. yeah. So, yeah, quite yeah, famous he was, in college. He was one of those status guys. No? He was like the athlete. Yeah, yeah. Everything he was quite, you know, charming. Yeah. And women liked him, Priya. I'll be honest with you. I, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and men liked him also. He was, he was the kind of guy people liked around. What you see now is nothing. <laughs> Seriously, huh? <laughs> I have no idea. Owen, if you're watching, just, just swim. You swim. <laughs> that was years ago. Okay, let's start with. Uh, so this is this is basically about the foundation. Right? Yes. And uh, but I read there in the research that was given to me by the three-year-old niece of Jenny, who we employed <laughs> because of right to exploitation, Article 14, where you know under 14 age 
people should be employed um you <coughs> did something for strays as well yeah so i'm passionate about animals I yeah love dogs. yeah i know yeah. that you do yeah. i have three of my own really and uh, though you know our foundation is focused on health and education but i think animals is a huge um i feel we've wasted time with humans we've given them a chance and after some time we just realize it's a failed experiment <laughs> so let's just save trees uh, dogs environment, cats, environment yeah yeah and i i a, a few hermits like abhi sir our cameraman <laughs> because they live from in a different perspective and also i, I accept that sorry if i yeah. talk too much just no no that's fine that's right just open <laughs> <laughs> then you stop yeah <laughs> <laughs> no but i think i mean there's so much of crap happening right now where animals are concerned mm. you know you must have heard about this that's, recent incident uh, yeah and then for 50 bucks you and for 50 bucks yeah. i mean come on you know i mean how can you have a lot how, it's, it's, how it's can you a, have a lot it's like, actually like black comedy if you yeah nobody is even looking at it yeah you know i mean that's change that law first but but it, how can they not how can they debate this i don't know okay let me explain for those who don't know so animal cruelty acts including death killing of dogs cats birds turtles um, uh, human beings also no not human beings not hu- oh, human beings they go on four legs <laughs> there are some human beings like that and it's just genetic they weren't born like that but then they become like that because of the different pains and problems they have in their life my good friend kunal vijaykar for example now basically he's a turtle we put a shell on top of him and we push him into sea and say bye <laughs> taking away from the point which is 50 bucks I saw John Abraham. Uh, yes, he did. Nice yeah. video about it as well. And I think I, I, if people just understand, fifty bucks is the bail. That, that means you killed a, a puppy or a kitten. And, and then people brutally that, killed. Uh, yeah, I, I mean that's a that. yeah. It's difficult to even digest. But then <coughs> you're just paying fifty rupees and walking, walking, whistling and walking out of the police I station. Know. Which is, and that's why people have no fear. Yeah. You know, I mean, they they just doing what they want. You can't teach the next person who's about to do it because there's yeah, no, there is know, nothing. Yeah. You know, and uh, so But that's. How can it take so long to amend this? Because nobody, I'll tell you, they don't think it's But important. There's so many vegetarians in the country. They don't like animals. These vegetarians. They they don't think that's important enough to even debate or discuss. Nobody believe me. It's you know? evil. Yeah, it is evil. Fifty bucks. Then, yeah. I mean, you just don't even arrest him then, na? Leave him. Why even take the fifty bucks? I think we should uh, go back to the old-fashioned punishment where the street decides. I I so swear. I think the street talks back. <laughs> you know it's awful there yeah. are plenty of animal lovers also there are plenty all, and all and it's great to see that yeah. because now you see so many people mm. passionate about animals you know and i know i've been getting posts and i'm getting mm. messages and um, so i know there are a lot of people out there who love animals but you no know, priya i had a lovely incident just the other day two three sundays back where uh, one of the stray dogs in the oval was running out and barking at this uh, other dog mm. across uh, the road and looked like intimidating and so these two cyclists came and the one cyclist was like pushing the dog with the cycle little bit and said go back go back so i got out to beat him yeah. and fight him and all that and then he calls me by name and says cyrus i'm just stopping them fighting and it felt like such, such a fool <laughs> because he actually was he was just making sure that he doesn't that cross and go for the other guy oh and he called me by name also and then i just felt like a real loser <laughs> and i was like why do i do this you know and it's just Because some animals what happens is like yeah, get angry you get angry quickly. yeah yeah uh, it's so amazing the other day an old man was being beaten by other old men and i just i was just like guys just side i want to move and i just walked <laughs> but you know if i see somebody chasing, chasing a dog, it, yeah. you know, i just go berserk you know yeah because they can't do anything yeah. yeah you know the thing is they can't even defend themselves i, I, I really think animal activists those of us who are vaguely activists or whatever yeah. i think our anger is even worse than the you know terrorists and all that <laughs> because at at some level the un, it's so unjust yeah. people who can't fight back or animals can't yeah, fight back yeah. or whatever that's another level it is it is yeah uh, so i'm sure you got better stories where the outcome was a little better than mine mine is always embarrassing <laughs> yeah it's like i i don't think i should take the side see again i'm looking at her they're not to look at her and look there and i no 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 i i get it yeah, yeah. it's it's uh, like you know it's crazy but don't you think the biggest problem is with the uh, like in middle class india the way the parents behave and uh, the imprinting that happens to the kid of course of course i think time. yeah 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 i think it all begins in your home yeah yeah you know it all begins in your home you know and i think there are so many parents that over protective you know Just that scared, like don't touch don't do yeah, yeah that fear yeah. that dog will bite you or do you know they they don't even kind of uh, you know teach your child compassion through yeah. h- how you treat an animal right you know so these little little things i think are it's a huge problem like i was brought up with animals right my kids they told my siblings 
Sorry. <laughs> oh, One of them. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. No, even my kids, yeah. You know, and my my That's son was it. like little a, a baby. Yeah. And we had two dogs who were sleeping with him on the bed. Correct. So, so that's the difference. The difference yeah. is just that. Exactly. So, uh, like I keep telling everybody when you know they say I'm scared of the dog. I'm scared of the dog. I keep telling them you yeah. should be scared of my mother. Okay, <laughs> because we can't tell you what she's going to do. She's <laughs> unpredictable. She's now 82. All right. Wow. And wow. don't worry about the dogs. Why do why do it's just yeah. like racism? Why do you assume the human is okay when you walk into a house? I just find it ridiculous. Yeah, I you, know. Yeah. We had a master. She come to do uh, uh, fittings. And he said, "No, no, I won't uh, hold the dog." So I said, "I can't hold the dog." So either you come up or not. Yeah, Why should yeah, I hold yeah. My house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Correct. A dog. That's a dog's house. Yeah. Your I agree. I agree. I feel the same. Family yeah. members. You can't come in <laughs> and sit. So yeah. I, I, I mean, I. Know. I mean, there are so many people who fear dogs who've come to my house, and I tell them just relax. Yeah. And they say, you know what? Now I'm not scared of dogs anymore. Really? Yeah. That's it. One word. And when they met my dogs, yeah. now they're they're so. Nice and you know they just come and smell you and this and that and they're fine. But why can't we do the other way where the dog? You say let the dog bite you once. Once oh, and then you'll be fine. Be. Then you know, then you won't fear. It's like when we're playing cricket, they would say let the ball hit you, so then you don't fear. Fear it, it anymore. You know, get used to it. Or like when you have an accident in the car, go and drive again. Like you have to get over it. You have to get over. It. Yeah. So the same thing. Yeah. But I, I feel middle class India has let us down more. I think in rural India is a little better with animals, but in middle class India, just these rich people who are just. I mean, even the gym I go to in the morning, we have these four or five elderly ladies who want the cats moved out of the way all the time. Yeah. yeah. I'm like really. That one, I'm talking about the Maidan, the ground area, which is a public ground area. Yeah. Where they walk and all that. Uh, hut, hut house, go hut house. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. Where does the cat go? I this know. This is the last place for the cat to be. Exactly. Just, exactly. Uh, I don't know what to do about this. Should we start our own uh, outfit? I think. Huh? Let's. I'm uh, really thinking. Of... Militant, if you don't mind. <laughs> I personally. You take care of the militancy. Huh? Let me take care of the. John Abraham. Care. John Abraham is there. He's with us. He's half passing. Half passing. Yes, yes, yes. He's very much his, his mom. Yeah, is but he is so passionate. Yeah. Yeah. Great. He, and he does a lot. Yeah. He does a lot. I'm, really, I'm I, so happy. That's the good thing is that in every like area, yeah, or whatever class of society or profession, there are animal lovers. So that yeah. that those stories are my happy yeah, stories. Yeah. Yeah. And you find them. You find an industrialist, Ratan Tata. The oh, trees are kept there. Nobody yeah. dare touch them. Yeah. And he opened his office to them. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's so fab, fab, yeah. yeah. I mean, really. Tata shares will fall, but the dogs won't. And that's important. <laughs> correct, but correct. They won't fall. This is great. And his new uh, hospital, which is yeah, uh, the twenty four seven, it's amazing. We need more. Yeah, we definitely yeah. need more. And and honestly, as a dog lover, I'm just saying the biggest problem for dogs are crackers and cars. Yeah. If they can stop and ban those crackers because yeah. they go crazy, they, they go and crazy. Me. Yeah. And no, no, they go crazy. Driving badly, they only get hit by cars. Otherwise, yeah. they're, they're so rugged and yeah. strong. They, if you talk about spirit of Mumbai, that's the spirit of Mumbai for me. How tough yeah. they are, how they survive. They are, really. they are. Yeah. Not this True. stupid majbur <laughs> of the labor who has to go back to earn money after yeah. uh, whatever has happened. All right, Priya, let's talk about the foundation. And anytime you want to talk about anything else, but we went. Can we talk a little bit about childhood and all that? Because of course, yeah, yeah, growing up uh, yeah, yeah. Famous family and all that. Mm-hmm. Tell us what it was like. Very normal. Mm-hmm. It was nothing different from you like any. Parents are big stars. No, actually, I didn't. Wow! I swear. So it's my like mom. My kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you know, like my mom <laughs> was a <laughs> my mom was a homemaker for me. Oh, okay, she was not. Is, she yeah. had she had stopped acting right mm. when we all were born. So it was she used to come to school. I was in Abba Bai Petit Parsi oh, School. Very nice. Yes. So uh, she was good friends with uh, our principal there, Mrs. Mm. Barucha. So it was like you know, my school. Many many people kind of. Especially the Parsis loved my mom. Yeah, you know. But, but we never know because she's a big star. Also, <laughs> so the thing is, she no no she was like and so I, I never knew that she was a big star hmm. till one day in Delhi she, we were went out and But she. How old were you? I was like nine maybe nine or ten I think. She didn't know till nine or ten. Ten even then yeah no yeah so my father never took us for shoots. Hmm. We didn't have at home. No, we we used to have a lot of. Parties and stuff, yeah. you know, especially and all the stars, uh, stars used to come and everything. So you But we were. But everybody's a star. But they were all friends, yeah. yeah? So uh, never had that thing of oh my god, so and so is coming to my house, and oh so and so is coming to my house. Never. My father never let film magazines come home. Mm-hmm. And uh, would the good scotch be served to the film stars? Yeah. Huh? Depending on how big the star was. No. It was same for everyone. Always, hmm. it's a Punjab. But I remember one party. Hmm. My mom had to go and buy, you know, alcohol and all. Hmm. And she was, you know, how that time people used to come and they had one contact. Not yeah. how you get, like uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the thing. It was all fake. 
Really? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you had such crazy mad incidences, but uh, never ever felt there was so, such sorry, normal parents. Delhi, but in the- ah, in Delhi and my mom's friend huh. was with us and we went to Palika Bazaar. I don't know if you heard of Palika Bazaar. I lived there. So, so, you know, Palika Bazaar, you're roaming about and oh. all that stuff. And she lost my mom we, because we were going to shops and she went somewhere else. So, mm. she started going to every shop and said, Nargis ko dekha hai? Nargis ko dekha hai? So, suddenly that buzz happened that Nargis is in Palika Bazaar. Oh. And everybody went kind of crazy, but you was know. Was she like incognito? Like no, 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 nothing. Then wh- why didn't people recognize her? Because I think it was so many people years. To see. Yeah, and there were so many years she had not worked in Still movies and stuff off. like that. Huh. And then that word spread and then this crowd happened and we all were like, what the hell is happening here? Mm-hmm. And that was the first time where I think I got kind of like, my God, why are, this? Why are so many people coming around, hmm. you know, wanting to meet mom and things like that. And yeah, otherwise I never even watched her movies or really? yeah, You're till 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 very late in my life. So as a young girl, you didn't uh, even dad's films. Dad's films used to watch because whatever you know, he used to uh, either uh, the mom, because he was active actor. Uh, the yeah. Mom, so then there was to we had a mini theater. <clears throat> yeah. So where the dubbings and all used to happen. So there were all the new movies. Mm. The trials used to happen in our mm-hmm. theater. So of course, dad's films. If there was a trial and stuff like that, we used to go see it. But there were other people's styles also. Hmm. Movie not released. Ooh. Yeah. And my father had given us strict instructions. You are not to go. Hmm. Because, you know, it's not our film. People don't yeah. like others, uh, outsiders coming. Because you know? you'll say something. No, no. But you know how it was a very thing. Now you, They invite their own guests. They invite press, press and all that. And now suddenly... Yeah. Sunil, that's uh, daughter. No. I'm going to stop you. He said, don't you dare. Hmm. So we used to sneak into the theater. Once the trial started... We used to go sit in the projection room hmm. with our, you know, uh, manager, projection oh. manager and all that stuff. And we used to see it in that small box. Mein, we used to see the movie like that. Hmm. And then my father would have... But would you ever walk out and make some remark? Never, <laughs> never. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. <laughs> because that word of mouth, the pickup is very quick. Uh, no, 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 never. Never. No. And uh, what so we used to... What an actress? I, I, I was, I think, too shy... Really? Yeah, very... Uh, jeans from both sides and, and such a high level sort of... Uh, no, like even my sister yeah, never she... ever thought about uh, films. Not yeah. did... Yeah, it was... I think we both were too shy and too, you know, not wanting to be in that whole... Limelight. Yeah, yeah. But then you became a... Uh, yeah, but uh, then... Uh, which yeah, is the same thing I, know, sense, yeah. I know, I know. I never, I never people. thought it could... <laughs> <laughs> I never <laughs> thought. In fact, you're talking more live there. Yeah, in yeah, sense, yeah. You can't be private at all. You cannot, yeah. People that's are, true. Yeah. I've, I've gone through... The, 15 years of that, but uh, yeah. Should have thought of it. Damn it, why did I do pictures so much easier? You know, the take again, nobody cares. Yeah. I uh, swear, hmm. really. So, growing up, no idea about all that. No, I, I loved my childhood, yeah. yeah. Because it was it's so. Band, yeah. Going to Ababai Petit. Going to Ababai Petit, and you know, just. So, my mom was so cool. Hmm. Like, she used to say, back school, back from school, do your homework and just get out of the house. Hmm. So we had that little lane where only bungalows and all, mm-hmm. you know, Pali Hill, it used mm-hmm. to be really green and... The rich people. <laughs> that time it was not rich people, it's Pali Hill. My Pali fa- listen, it left. used to be the... That was Sobo, yeah. Mm. That was town, which was the... You think? Yeah, this was the suburbs. Pali Hill was the suburbs. We could hear like uh, jackals and all in the night. What are you saying? Are it was jungle Those all around. <laughs> they were just performing, hoping to be picked up. Yeah. So it was, it was, yeah, it was like paddy fields all around the house. I don't believe that. Really? This is what you're talking about, 70s, 80s? Yeah, 70s. 70s was like, Yeah, there was just in my lane. what we see today? Not at all. I could walk from my home, just cross to Carter Road. Hmm. Carter Road had a beach. Right. Okay, a little strip of beach where I used to go play. Okay. And it was amazing. So we used to be out of the house. No mobile phones, no contact. Like the kids from the or, or from you, our locality, no like mobile our, phones. How do you know? What no mobile phone. Them? Just that before sunset, you have to be home. <laughs> That's oh. all. Wow. So where we were, we were like freaking out everywhere, and we used to be home like sunset, run home. You know, that's it. Wow. And this, yeah. is the, this is the early years. So what did you want to be at that point? At that Maybe time, yeah. Teens. If you early don't want to be an actress, I wanted to be a doctor. Oh. So I used have to. Have you seen Munabai? <laughs> I would have the been that time. doctor. <laughs> I swear I would have been that doctor. Yeah, yeah. So I think, yeah. So I, so in a way, 
what I do now is pretty much that I'm not a doctor. I'm a Munna boy. Well, so I try a my a, a, a good. Yeah. Yeah. So For the yeah. Good in a sense. Yeah. yeah. So I I think what I wanted to do as a child I used to you know have my little uh, doctor box. Seriously. Mm. With all the basic medicines, so my uh, our like serious real medicines. Real medicines. So, so you're like an amateur doctor. <laughs> so because our family doctor used to come, so I used to write down what medicines for what. Hmm. Full list used to give me hmm. basics. You know, hmm. somebody gets hurt, somebody gets pain, and all. Full list, then I used to get all those medicines, put it in my box. So all the kids in the neighborhood, you know, we are playing, falling, and all. I was to be the first person they, to go. They say doctor Priya. No doctor and all. Just like why not? <laughs> I used to be the one coming with that little Can box. I, I know so many doctors who aren't practicing doctors. Doctor Vijay Malia, <laughs> Doctor Sunil Gavaskar, Doctor Lata Mangeshkar. I mean, there's so many. You call them up, Doctor. I mean, <laughs> like no idea. Uh, <laughs> I should have just put Doctor why before not? my uh, Doctor Priya. Helping people. Yeah. And, 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 and isn't they it, should have that, nee? But people who are helping and all. Wouldn't the knowledge have got better by doing it? You know what they say first hand knowledge you had some knowledge of what you're doing <laughs> I, mean, I should get get briefs from my uh, doctor friends doctor yeah. family doctor yeah. do you still Uncle. have that kid can you show to people <laughs> no. no it's gone no. are your kids like that at all not at all <laughs> no I'll no. <laughs> yeah they're, not, they're yet. not yet they're both boys now yeah. Indian male is very different very different so you don't have any sensitivity it but is. I uh, but I make them you know like yeah, you in my to, NGO and all I you, you have to sure. yeah you, you do your I agree with you totally yeah. You different. have to push them. And I saw that in the yeah. pandemic immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Indi- all us men had no idea what to do about other people. Because we never have an other people gene. We only live for ourselves. And then suddenly <laughs> yeah. we're in a place where like now we have to help with other people. I'm yeah. like, who are these people? Your mother. Oh, your father. Oh, he's <laughs> <with them. laughs> I'm going to help them. It's strange. But I, I, that's why I keep saying conscription. One year in the army. Yeah. All, all, for the men, I'm saying. Especially men from my society. Yeah. I just think we're just too soft now. Just don't. <laughs> don't you think? I don't know. I I always feel I think there's more discipline then. You know, when you're in the army. Yeah. That one year. Yeah. Makes you strong That's and tough and yeah. One year. I don't yeah. want to do more than that because it becomes too much. Too much. Too yeah. much. <laughs> and then, you know, I mean, then unless you want that as a career, please join the army. Have fun. Yeah. No one's saying no. But I think it really, you know. Yeah. Just puts that discipline, puts a lot of. Uh, and you have to. Think about other people, your regiment, your troops, everything. Yeah, you know, it's like that, one, a, it's you a know, team, team, thing, team thing. Yeah, yeah the Indian male, we've just had it so easy yeah. until we suddenly realized, I didn't even know in the pandemic that there were toilet things inside that one cupboard below the sink. I'd never <laughs> opened it in my life. And I'm not the only male. I spoke to others. We have never opened the thing below thing, the sink. Yeah. And there was these colored bottles and I've never seen them. <laughs> there was a girl called Sushila who used to work in the house. I've never seen her. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, she, she, you know, she used to come in the morning and do two hours do of and I've never seen and her. And you never seen her. Like, Who's this person? <laughs> Why is she here now? I miss yeah. her now, of course, because she fell off the balcony, but uh, she did. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, let's get back to your life. Yeah. So we're talking about the childhood thing and all that. And you have this altruistic, uh, I, I know you don't want to sound immodest or whatever, but you always were trying to help people. Hence, you you know later on got into politics, etc. But uh, then what did you do? Tell us a little bit about your life, how you went over, what happens in college? So college, uh, oh, there's so much. So college, in my last year. What is the young Priyada thinking? In, I know acting. I, is not, no, 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 nothing. Actually, I was completely clueless once I went to college. Fair. Right? Yeah. You know. They lie the ones who tell you I got this dream. Yeah. This yeah, dream yeah. They read in the that you know I'm going to do this uh, and so focused and all. I wasn't. Yeah, really. Believe me. Thank God. <laughs> so I wasn't. I didn't know really what I wanted to do. I I wanted to do, you know, journalism at one time. And uh, after a while, I said uh, I wanted to do documentary filmmaking. Oh, and so you, then you go back to the yeah, membership. Huh. So I said I want to, but that happened, I think, uh, just my last year of college. The last year of college, this I was. Sophia. Sophia, yeah. My father decided he's going to go on a padyatra. All oh, right. He from Mumbai to yeah. Amritsar. I think he's one of the first to do that. No? Yeah. yeah. So. He came home and he said, listen, I've decided I'm going to go on this yatra from Can here. Make a small joke? Please. So all the Punjabis came from Amritsar to Mumbai. <laughs> He's going from Mumbai to Amritsar. <laughs> yeah. Follow the plan. <laughs> they reach Chambur, they start their shops. Yeah, so. <laughs> and he comes to us and we actually started laughing. And said, what the <laughs> hell? Huh? Huh? And what are you talking about, Dad? Like, you know? He's saying, no, I'm going. I said, it. now when? One week. We have no clue what's happening. Hmm. Anyway, everything happened and uh, we went and dropped him off. 
at uh, you know where he he started where from. Where did he start from? He started from the you know he went to uh, the Gandhi ji's huh. Mani Bhavan. Yeah. Went to the mandir and then the highway pakad ke. Highway is far away. Huh? So walking from there on. Actually yeah, yeah, walking? yeah, yeah. But come on, I, I thought they they get transported to various points. No, no, walking. Like physically walking. Physically walking. It's like a real padyatra. <laughs> real padyatra. Is Rahul Gandhi also really doing that? I thought they, they get they get they get to a point and then they walk a little bit. No, 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 no. Have you seen some of the elder politicians? They can't walk so much. Arey, but he was a tough guy. My wow. dad. No, your dad is different. I'm just talking about generally speaking. Because there have a lot of people. Yeah. So no, he actually and, walked. Yeah, and it was not a political padyatra. So he had only ten people with him. had a good plan they said it'll take about 78 days 78 yeah, days, days of yeah walking wow and this march and you know pretty well organized for such a short mm. time and we went and we were having coffee and all and you know say what the hell what is dad doing you know why is he doing this and so i said you know i'm feeling really bad i think i'll go with dad yeah huh? how old huh? were you i was 19 18 or 19 oh wow so my brother said i'll slap you just shut up okay <laughs> you know just go home let's just go home and you know mm-hmm. you know now you don't start anything you know mm-hmm. but i had it in my head mm-hmm. so i called up my father and all in the night mm-hmm. and see a dream set place said that dad i want to join you mm-hmm. so he said why do you want to bunk college mm-hmm. you know you are in your last year are you going to that's true yeah mm-hmm. so is i i think you're doing this because you don't want to give your exam mm-hmm. so i said no really i'm telling you i want to join you so he said then you take permission from your college next day i went took permission from my principal from my teachers and say yeah, this is what i want to do and you know i was Did quite surprised great awareness of something what was the reason so see that time punjab was burning it was you know after ah, the militancy and uh-huh. yeah and okay. uh, even um, the golden temple was occupied at that time right 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 and for him because so like in, a peace uh, in peace ma- he said you know i need to do kind of want to go there and tell them that listen you are part of us yeah you know we are with you you are mm-hmm. part of us yeah. this violence and all is not going to help anything so he went as a person of peace there yeah and uh, my teachers and all agreed they said of course this experience you'll never get so go ahead i called up my dad okay i'm coming i reached bhivandi i joined him from bhivandi wow and he sat me down and he said that uh, listen now that you've decided you can't turn back it's going to be a tough God, I'm getting journey. So <laughs> I was thinking even it was me. My dad said that yeah. I want to go back immediately. Yeah. yeah. Did huh? you? Did you for a second regret it? No, I didn't actually. So he said, "This is I'm giving you another chance. Hmm. So once you have committed yourself, right. then you're no turning back from here." Correct. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and he's he's also there was a journalist or something sitting there, and he called the journalist. He said, "My daughter is joining." <laughs> It's good. It's an announcement. <laughs> a teenage daughter is willing to do something yeah. which is you don't think that. And he knows, uh, yeah, doing it all. correct. You know, yeah. and so he and he knew that now. See, even they're going to write about you. Yeah. And now you can't turn back. So I say, yeah, 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 I know. You know, I'm, I'm okay. Kind of thing. And we started the journey. So that whole journey of seventy-eight days was like. Crazy. But who were these nine people other than dad? So there was. I mean, for you as a young girl. You <laughs> and know, I was only girl. I, I'm just thinking. Yeah. You know, you've got all these uh, boys who are chasing you in college. And from that world, you're suddenly these nine <laughs> old men who are like, "Arey, boy, abhi uh, Jaipur se right mark ke order pakda kam hai." Yeah. So there were like you know people who had worked with my father and this. How did you hang out with them for seventy eight days? Must be now. It was it was good fun actually. Yeah. You know, so the, we all had were given tasks. I was in charge of uh, medicine. Oh, excellent! Hmm? And you need that. So I is a walking medicine and food. So I had to supervise yeah, that's that. That's too too much work. Huh? <laughs> yeah, food is a separate issue. So that I had to supervise also. Find food along the way. No, but you see, very interestingly, what they they did, they had a truck with all food stuff. We had Following. a cook. Ah, oh, good. Okay, so like we knew where we are going to stop, right? So the truck used to go ahead, make the khana. So under a tree, we used to sit and eat. You know. 
you know find a small little space so wow kind of actually it was really lovely yeah, it yeah. was lovely and so, and we kept walking and you would see the country you would never get to never see never it. never yeah. and it was so beautiful because initially to no press uh, even covered us today it would have been a huge it movie. was huge and that time though, everybody was laughing that what nonsense is this you know i mean this guy is going to walk ha ke ye to ab wapas aa jane wala hai ye wo the other but we didn't care and we kept walking and a uh, lot of people in between started joining us you know oh, yeah without yeah. just people who just you... people who saw this that the other and till we reached indore hmm. uh, in once we reached indore city that time it became a bit big because they in a good way because hmm. people realized are this guy has reached indore yeah which is you know yeah. yeah so uh, then they started taking it a bit seriously hmm. and then the press started covering and Was that time confusing that you're outdoor in indoor and <laughs> oh god i wouldn't have got that <laughs> i just keep bringing down the moment i see this podcast again i said why didn't i keep quiet it's a beautiful moment sometimes it's a very poetic moment you know something's you're talking from the heart etc it's the time when the anchor should keep quiet and you know that no that's fine yeah, yeah. it's too late you married owen does he talk a lot He used to now. Is I think. Yeah. Hmm. You've controlled him. I've controlled Send him. Send him on a seventy-eight day walk. <laughs> Man will change completely. <laughs> Sorry. So <laughs> indoor was the point where you suddenly felt the movement is happening. Yeah. And people are joining. Yeah. And they're taking you seriously. Correct. Yeah. So and then. How was your dad's mood in all this? He was great. He was great. I mean, you know, we we used to have a lot of fun in the way, especially you know, it became like a big family. Oh, that's actually you know how do you kill time? Uh, yeah, yeah. In the night, we used to sit and chat, and everybody had to sleep early. We were waking up at five in the morning, and uh, you know, very simple khana like dal, sabzi, roti types. Only breakfast was eggs because we needed some protein, hmm. and and then as people started joining us, you know, we had grew and they would bring food, I guess. Yeah. But what was really beautiful to see is that people didn't know who Sunil Dutt was. What? Because we were walking through villages, Did you know. Cinema? No. There was see that it was eighty seven. There was no mobile phones. There was no internet. The villages didn't have it even electricity. No. They didn't even have television. There was no nothing. God. It was completely cut off. So nobody knew who was running. So they the said there is like a podcast viewers <laughs> who don't know now, about us. But <laughs> listen, now every village has a mobile phone. Everybody now, has a connectivity. Now they, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah. So, but yet, just word of mouth, yeah, Cyrus. Hmm. It was we used to suddenly start walking. We had these lines of people on the highways. Hmm. You know, lined up under under say from the villages they've come out. That koi chal raha hai shanti ke liye. Hmm. But nobody had a clue who. So there was with my father his. Colleague who was this tall man who used to always be with my father, like mm-hmm. you know, doing whatever. Umesh uncle we used to call him, mm-hmm. and he was tall and you know. Your dad was tall. Ha, yeah. So they thought it was him walking. So many times, like hard work, friend, they used to put it on <laughs> because this was his tallest man over here. Wow. So hey, it used to be. This is a movie. This I is swear, it should be a movie. I'm telling you, it was it's hilarious. Also in it. Yeah. Hilarious. We yeah. had. Such so crazy time. Did you react every time Umesh Angkar was the? <laughs> he used to start laughing. Ah, yeah. uh, he used to start laughing. Exchange the heart. Yeah. Or just leave it. No, no. He used to just leave it. Yeah, it's done, man. And yeah, and so so Umesh Angkar was to be this real funny guy, really funny guy. Yeah. And then as we started approaching Punjab, just before entering Punjab, we started getting a lot of uh, threats. Oh, the yeah. Separate. You know, sword, suddenly yeah. letters started coming, and yeah, so. Wapas jaun all that. Ah, uh, that you enter Punjab and we won't leave you. We will finish you. Bad. Yeah, yeah. It used to be they kept on doing this, mm. and then. But didn't he get scared then? I mean, you got so you what? And others. Dad was so focused in his thing, so we were the guys around. Not security. No, no, no security. No security. No security. So we we were the guys. Okay, so we said, and uh, Suresh Shetty was also part of this. Uh, he, But but the yatra. What was the plan? What did somebody come to attack you? There's no. So they said we we. He, my dad used to say, "But why would be anybody want to attack us? We are not going with anything mm. in our head, mm. you know. So why should you fear that?" Mm. And then uh, we uh, and we used to not tell dad that these letters have come. Oh. So we used to just amongst ourselves, you know, today love letter came. Mm-hmm. This is a love letter come. This has said, "Be careful of that." So every place where we went, there were cops, right? Mm. Who used to join us for a little while and then think so. We used to show it to the cops, of course, that this is there, and you know, and one letter. Some information came from the cops. के आज ना थोड़ा बच के रहिएगा. There will be some people with orange pagdis. 
उनको देख के थोड़ा सा यू नो यू ऑल हैव टू बी योर ओन सिक्योरिटी एंड ऑल सो वी सेट ओके दैट डे आई थिंक वी सो द मैक्सिमम ऑरेंज Bugs, because there were trucks bhar bhar ke, you know, jathas were going and things like that. <laughs> we said, what are we going to, you know, do? And, and that's happened. how, no, nothing. That's how we kept moving on. And then while we were approaching, uh, we there was a young guy who had polio, hmm. Sardar, walking hmm. with alongside the other side of the road. Hmm. We couldn't take in so many people. We didn't have the resources. Right. So people who wanted to walk with us had to walk, just walk, and make their own arrangements, right. basically. kept walking kept and then you know we said go oh, chap tell him hamare sath khana kha lo mm-hmm. and you know he started coming and then talking to everybody and all that stuff ki kaha kya how come you all decided ye wo diya tha and that's how he kept walking with us now finally we reached punjab mm-hmm. and uh, we were ready the next day to enter the golden temple the night before that the cops and everybody came mm-hmm. and they sat us down and he they told my father that listen we you have no security inside correct we and we cannot enter the temple we suggest that you wear a bulletproof jacket wow so my father said okay so you fine you give me the bulletproof jacket mm. and give the bulletproof jacket to all the people who have walked with me who this will be more than 10 now more than 10 yeah, this is impossible so they said no sir the bulletproof jacket will be only for you <laughs> इनसाइड विथ यू because if there are cases and ye wo the other and you know we cannot guarantee, guarantee anything ye wo the other so what i liked about my dad here mm-hmm. was that he called me he didn't take the decision for me he asked you he called me here and he said you know this they have said that i shouldn't be taking you in and these are the mm-hmm. and i got really angry okay. angry i'm like what are you scared No, I wasn't scared. I'm scared for you. <laughs> no. Cops are saying, "Boss, हमारे पास ये कोई plan नहीं है. Bulletproof jacket नहीं है, but पहनो." No, no. But mean? so for me, I got angry. I said, "You know, I walked seventy-eight days Correct. for this, right? Yeah. And now you're telling me you can't go inside the temple. Ah, you know, I said that's not happening. I said if you are going, I'm going. So he said, "Okay." So he but said, "Yeah." He didn't yeah. force you. He never forced yeah. me. You know. And then we moved. The early morning, we walked that whole road towards. the entry part entry part of the okay. temple and as we you had no friends inside who were helping you and all no that. no no we didn't know who was it's even only going to be like yeah entering. yeah and it was occupied yeah yeah you know at that time uh, yeah yeah going in and out and all that yeah and um, we went in and there were some plain clothes policemen who said that we'll come with you hmm. the people from inside recognized them hmm. and they said you are not allowed to come into the temple hmm. Hmm. and Sunil, that's responsibility is ours. Hmm. Oh, they said. Yeah, that. these are the guys from inside the from temple. inside the uh, temple, who may or may not be supporters. You're not sure. No, no. The, so they were uh, like, they were the opposite side. Okay, okay? they were the ones who had who had, who had occupied the temple. Take care of. Uh, and but they welcomed my dad and say he is our responsibility. So we all went in, and that crowd was like they just lifted my father. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I kind of lost him. So you know, like the other guys just caught my hand. I switched to film star again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So, no, no, so oh. this was, and I, and I was like, could ob- observe whatever is happening. There were. So there was no uh, uh, aggression. No, not at all. Everybody had guns. Yeah, but they were everybody happy. inside See. the temple had guns, yeah. but they were like very happy. happy. Yeah. They kind of welcomed him. Hmm. You know, and I could see gunmen, young young guys, yeah. all around. All there. excited to see him. All yeah. in the temple with their you know ak's and stuff like that and and then we did my my father me and uh, suresh two three other people went into a little room mm. where we had prayers mm. and with us were two yeah. guys all faces covered and all yeah, because yeah. they were wanted men yeah. with guns inside wow okay sitting with us and while the prayers were happening and these all young young giving kids giving you good vibes yeah i mean there was no fear yeah. you know 
and my father then went and spoke to the the main person of the temple and yeah what the other happened and while we were walking around the temple everybody met us mm-hmm. they all were young guys who had picked up weapons mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. for whatever reasons there were a huge amount of women in black now in in punjabis also in you know they've lost their son they've lost their oh, that's right yeah they've lost their husbands and if they have one son remaining they will say that my this son will now fight oops oh. you know for for the cause kind mm-hmm. of thing so we met all of them but there was so much of love there was so much of respect and uh, you know that after a while we really felt that these are all people of yeah you know Our, humanity was there humanity was there and they are all part of our country side, yeah, yeah it's all part of our country they need just to be guided they need to be kind of you know peacemakers are rare it is yeah. it is and i really saw that with my my own eyes that mm. you know i mean we were not hurt people mm. claimed so many thing are they'll kill them they'll ye ho jayega wo ho jayega but i believe that when you're pure mm. in what you feel and what you mm. think i think the results will be Positive, yeah, there's no right? agenda. You just came there, and there is no agenda. Fight anymore. Yeah. yeah, and you won't believe the same guy who had polio mm-hmm. was part of them. He was in the temple. Oh, he was like a. He was there to spy on you. Yeah, to understand why mm-hmm. are these people walking? They don't. What is the agenda? The fact that you gave him so much love. Ha. Huh. Uh, they realized that you guys are. So they thought it was political because my father yeah. was in politics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he's come with some political agenda. Yeah, he's yeah. come with something. Till the polio guy figured out that figure, just, yeah, yeah he was like a informer or whatever right? tourists <laughs> <laughs> tourists yeah you have to take a break. come to see the temple you broke down because we're speaking for so long sorry 40 minutes i mean it's a shorter second half there was a lovely story so we didn't want to stop we'll take a break and come back the foundation the nagesh that foundation what we're talking about here please send donations quickly is the donations allowed yes of course quickly. after the break hey it's been another great week on the ivm podcasts network On has it aged well? Myself Abbas and my co-host Urjita are joined by film writer Pratyush Parasuraman to talk about 2007's Savaria. We discuss the film's distinct visual style, the debut performances of Ranbir and Sonam Kapoor, and the clash of this film with Shah Rukh Khan's star Om Shanti Om. On all things policy, Sachin Kalbag and Sanskriti Menon, senior program director at the Center for Environment Education, discuss the urgent need for transformation in Pune's transport infrastructure. Folks, if you like our shows, spread the word, tell your friends and don't forget to rate and review them wherever you're listening to them. Follow us on social media. We are IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. You'll also find all our shows on youtube.com slash IVM podcasts. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week. Omidyar Network India, IDFC First Bank and ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund. Thank you for making this possible. All right, break is over. I love doing this because I guess things is a long break. There's no break. Not 78 days. What a nice story. Why didn't you make it into film? I know Sell I rights. should. I mean, and if you can remember all these incidents, they I have. I've right got now. it all written, little diary oh, lovely, and all. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, yeah. And at the climax, is I mean, we've given it away, so now. But take it, yeah. We can build it. You build it up. Uh. Thinking, <laughs> I actually got scared for the same. Thinking in my mind, if something happened to Sunil Dutt in '87, I was, you know, I was a teenager. I should be able to remember it. <laughs> yeah. It would have been front page. Yeah, yeah. But then you know, nothing really happened. Yeah. So you uh, just quickly then we'll come to the foundation. So you you had a great reception and you exit happily and there's no problem. No right. problem at all, yeah. Uh, they treat you really well. Lungan yeah, and all that happened. Everything. Yeah, yeah. All good. So it was when lovely. Out, when it you was come lovely. out of the Golden Temple, what did the police say? Nothing. Everybody was like. Were they a little surprised that you know all went well and all? Yeah, yeah. So I remember at that time when my father actually had to write a will hmm. because the police had kind of you know really? said, "Agar aapko kuch ho jayega, we will charge and we will do this." Or you know, if if he hears shots and if you would. my father said nothing else going to happen but he was still you know he said he didn't want to take any chances in the sense and where he had actually written not mm. a will but he had written Kacha that will. if a- anything has to happen to me mm. there should be no action no nothing taken because 
Uh, or whatever. Like you know, he wanted to uh, kind of yeah, action taken against, against uh, uh, the yeah, temple so, or anything. Talking in half half whispers, we don't offend people and cause trouble. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Please yeah. pay attention, understand the missing dialogue. Correct. Yeah. So yeah, I think you know you're, he was very very clear, and uh, hmm. for him it was I think more his. Takes a lot of guts, That's all said and done, to walk seventy yeah. eight days in the eighties in India across the length oh, yeah. breadth of an underdeveloped country for a cause which for which you're getting no po- brownie points. Nothing, nothing. No, yeah, honestly, not yeah. cause for the for the cause of stopping people fighting. Yeah, yeah. Or this yeah. uh, internecine violence or whatever you call it. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. I wouldn't have done it. I got to tell you. Much <laughs> better than, than me. I mean, imagine. Oh God, seventy eight days for this bad enough, and then when you reach there, you're not sure what's going to happen to you. I mean, literally from a yeah. life point of view. Ooh. Yeah, it was. It, it was. I think my that whole trip was very exciting. It was. You must have grown a lot. Yeah. Just that, oh yeah. No, you oh, come yeah. back a different person. I, a different person. I actually I did Sophia change. College, you after that. The challenges <laughs> of those steps. I had to one, go and give my exams, but after I that. I know, but the, what is it? I had to finish my graduation. Is, life and death situation. Walking <laughs> yeah, half an hour yeah. a day across the length and breadth. Then what is so mundane? School, <laughs> yeah. college must have been at that point. All right. Let, let's before we get into the foundation, let's fast forward a little bit, and then what what happens in Priyada's life? Uh, uh, when she comes back, finishes college, and then yeah, I finished. But you know, my father doesn't stop there. He said, "Let's go to Japan." Walking. <laughs> 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 I mean, not really, walking. Really hard, yeah. <laughs> not walking. A bridge, but now. I think he got. Bridge, he got. He got <laughs> yeah, yeah. He used to make this. You know, plans. Very impulsive. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll go. Peace march from Nagasaki to Hiroshima. Okay, <laughs> this is over the nineteen forty-five <laughs> incidents. Huh. After the atom oh, bomb and the, you know, so yeah, in the world and yeah, nuclear and nuclear warfare, warfare and yeah. stuff. We will go for. So that was, I think, another thirty days. Okay, <laughs> where and again you got language issues. People <laughs> don't know who the hell you are. You food, there. Food. food. Can you imagine? And again, we've yeah. we've taken a group of people from here, Umesh coming Shankar. from a village. Umesh Ankur was always Umesh there. Is my hero. <laughs> when that movie is made, Umesh's character is going to be very. Big. He is. Uh, he he's was amazing. Japs were also garlanding him just because he's taller. No, and that became like because you know how Indians, na? Uh. You know, Japanese are like. Like you me. have to report at yeah. five means one minute here and there. Love those people. So first yeah. day or two, so yeah. everybody aram say, <laughs> you know, <laughs> abhi wahan jaake ham log, arey, ठीक है ना, अभी जाएंगे. They cancelled it the first day. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Saying if you can't be on time, then I'm sorry. Oh, we're later. Not... <laughs> you later. No go now. After that, everybody kind of, kind of, you know. Yeah. Discipline was Good. yeah. I thought it was great. I think all Indians should plan <laughs> yeah. for one weekend <laughs> just to get us. Punctuality is a big issue. Yeah. It is. It uh, is. Then it became like a. So you became an international figure. Uh, yeah, and Japan was an amazing uh, experience also because we were working with the monks. Oh. So the Nich, there are two sects: Nichinshu and uh, Nipponza and Meoji hmm. monks. And so we lived in the monasteries. Oh. Yeah, we lived in you know little. It was very yeah. simple. Uh, very simple. Very simple. It was not like all any high flying things. Good, you know. Japan, almost developed countries in the world. You live in the monastery. <coughs> yeah, no but it was so amazing. Yeah, mm. it was so amazing because the again, this is the way you see a country, right? Yeah. Like, you know, walk through the villages and you know. Good was, reception. Yeah, lovely. It was great. But and the Japanese press, you know, how would they take to Indian film star and entourage? So it was it was nice. They used to cover the whole thing, yeah. and you know there was one. Uh, I remember unless you were late, of course, that day. Then yeah, you wouldn't get any information. There was one somebody. I don't remember clearly. Was making a documentary also. So I remember you know the places where we were sleeping, what we were eating. They were shooting everything mm-hmm. there, mm-hmm. but I really don't know what happened to the documentary after that. We'll so no out. idea. <laughs> you know what happened to the documentary in nineteen ninety eighty nine? Yeah, somewhere there. Yeah, around that. Just uh, please figure out. Uh, it's uh, Hiroshima to Nagasaki. Yeah. And on the way back by car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're also tired Indian boys. Yeah, up correct. And down like that. Yeah. All right. So then uh, I'll, we'll skip the politics part. Everybody knows. Yeah. That, so I don't want to get into that. Uh, not that I was told not to get into that, but yeah. Uh, no, Politics it, happened, but it, yeah, it I mean, yeah, yeah. I think I think it was sort of bound to happen once I heard these stories. <laughs> because now, obviously, your 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 father, that avatar of your father's uh, daughter. Yeah, it got kind of stuck. But I got uh, so after this, of course, there was a lot of talk about me getting into politics, even after the padyatras. Are mm. he's grooming her to ah, be in politics, all that stuff, yeah. and that uh, really made me angry again. I said, listen, this is not happening. Whatever I'm doing, yeah. it doesn't have to be for politics, right? Mm-hmm. 
So uh, and that's the time I decided I'm going to I want to go to the US. I studied there for a year oh, and a right, half. Right. Yeah. Oh, you did it later. I did it later yeah, after yeah. my graduation. Right. So I was there a year and a half and Which studied part? New York. Uh, did you go on any of those left-leaning uh, walks that they have there? No, <laughs> no I didn't go for any walks. बहुत हो गया. Say the golden deer or something. Like <laughs> no. no, no yeah. yeah, and then uh, once I yeah, then once I came back because mm. I had done I did television production there. Right. And uh, when I came back, I actually made a short documentary on my mom. Okay. With Films Division. Okay. Yeah. So I said so I. I producer in a sense. Films no, division was the producer. Yeah. Films division was the producer, and uh, why I wanted to do it on my mom because I thought that I don't didn't know her enough. Yeah, you know, yeah. like I said, I knew her as mom, my mom. The, the other side, but I never knew anything about her. I she passed away when I was thirteen. Oh, correct. So you, there's not much you know about your. Especially when she has this whole second side to her. Which... Yeah. So I said, you know, the first thing I want to do is maybe make a. Documentary on her life. Mm-hmm. So I then with that research, then that's the time I saw her films, and you know got all that material together, interviewed all her colleagues mm-hmm. who were alive at that time, mm-hmm. and uh, so it was really amazing for me. And uh, so yeah, it's just, oh, surreal to discover your parent through yeah, you know, through black and white images, and I mean, I yeah. was trying to think that yeah. Better. Like, that's my mom. Yeah, <laughs> like, no literally, it was. Yeah, it was really quite amazing for me. You know, like it was like I was, I was looking at somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and uh, so it it was quite exciting, quite different, really. I'm getting scared. What if my mom turns out to be? You know, she's actually a, a major in North Korean army or something. I didn't know that. I didn't know. I'm opening the file. I'm like, oh my god, Kim Jong Un's sister. I can't believe. I can't believe it now. It's all making sense. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. let's, let's get to the foundation. We will yeah. we'll run out of time. So the Nervous Dad Foundation. We're fast forwarding now. Of course, in between, yeah. she became a very well-known uh, politician from the area where we are, exactly where we're shooting. And after about fifteen, twenty years in the business, you've decided uh, to go the straight and narrow. Yes, straight and narrow. Foundation and helping people directly. Yeah. So I I was member of parliament two terms. Yeah. I fought four elections. Correct. And uh, that's, that's ten years in. Yeah, ten years in. Ten years in politics. Yeah, and ten, years, ten in years in. Yeah. yeah. So I just felt that I always wanted Did you break to take a. Signals and all once you were the member of parliament. Bring. Break the signals and things like that. Never. Damn it! I so was a very, happened? I think, straight member of parliament. <laughs> That's why you're not right fit for this. Yeah, you got to you got to throw your weight around. Yeah, my 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 son also tells me yeah. sometimes. He said, "Mom, you're so straight." Yeah. Does this work nowadays? Does it work? I said, "I'll slap you, you if you say that." You wouldn't be that kind of position <laughs> in those countries. You know. Yeah, that's why I said this. This is not for me. I think I rather do what I love doing. No, all the lovely pictures are there on all the posters. Every day when we feel sad, we look up at all our leaders and feel happy again. Happy again. Yeah, they all faces plastered there, all looking in different directions because they put amalgamated, amal, you know. And you know, they they put those passport size photographs yeah. now. No, they started putting. The rank. I mean, you you know better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the big guy is faces there. Then the small guy's nephew who owns the chai shop outside where they're doing the photo shoot. He's also gusa out in the back small. Everyone. Size. Many of them look alike also. <laughs> <laughs> in the Japanese when they come in, say, "Oh, Indians look alike." <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Huh. Huh. So, yeah. uh, twenty years in politics, twenty odd years. Yeah, uh, a little less than that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, about that much. So and so yeah. So then I I actually started doing what I love doing. Yeah. You know, and if you go back to my life, and I've always wanted to be connected with people, so wanting to do something. This plays a very important role. Very important because role. the altruism gene and all that comes from. I'm not Correct. saying mom didn't have it, but yeah, the, 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 your dad was always thinking about the greater yeah yeah society picture, not just his own life. Yeah, and then you pick that up. Yes. Oh, pick that up. Maybe it's there already. Yeah. yeah, I think it was always there. I mean, to go to the golden temple yeah. at that time, and for people who grew up in that generation, we know exactly yeah. how that that. I mean. Supposing my son came to me and said, "I want to do this in 1987," I had to put him in a cupboard. <laughs> you know, no, honestly, I mean, which who would have allowed it to happen? Also, yeah. you had no idea. Okay, But so. yeah, so it was. So I think it was there, uh, right from the beginning, right from when I was with my mom. Actually, I used mm-hmm. to see her. She was, um, uh, she was the one who had kind of started the uh, Spastic Society of India. Oh, really? Yeah. With me too, Alur. Me too, Alur. Yes, yeah. Some was in class with me, Nikhil. Yeah, Nikhil. Yeah, yeah. So me too, Auntie, and my mom, you know, started oh, that together. Okay. Yeah. So I used to be tagging along with her, you mm. know. You know, she used to go work there and stuff like that. Bam. 
Pam auntie. Yeah. Oh, it's all coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah Pam auntie was yeah, there. People are connected. Connected, I know. Yeah, mm. so I was like really small and Malini, Malini and me grew up together. Sister, yeah, so Malini and me grew up together. Malini, Malini and me are like the Kolaba same. Kids. Yeah, because the first school was in Kolaba, Afghan right, Church. Right, yeah. Then, uh, with the help of mom and uh, they got the land here, okay. Spastic Society here right, right the now, big one, yeah. the big one. Yeah. So mom used to go to Kolaba first. Wow. Yeah. No ceiling, <laughs> No ceiling. <laughs> yeah. So we used to go to Kulaba Afghan Church where mm-hmm. the kids were, and uh, you know she used to work there and all. And then the school started here. So both sides. Both sides. This, yeah, uh, yeah. Need to help society. It's almost like a bad habit. I <laughs> know <laughs> <laughs> so many parents who don't care, but, and rightly so. Yeah. Kidding. Uh, so that's how we. So what does the foundation do? Well, we have to take the EMAs as well. Yeah. Uh, so specifically. Uh, health and education. Okay. So it started in uh, eighty one actually after mom's passing away. Yeah. My dad started Do you have it. Any students still studying? Eighty one to twenty twenty four. No, but that that was only health at that time. Okay. Only health. Huh. Yeah. So he started it in the U S. Where they used to raise funds in the U S. and bring equipment into India. Oh. So I all like this. yeah. Let the other country pay. Correct. <laughs> all the Indians there huh. used to, you know, raise funds hmm. for the foundation, and we equipped you no know, more than hundred rural hospitals with cancer care equipment. You did? Yeah. Hundred rural hospitals. More than hundred. Wow. With cancer care and diagnostic equipment, and I then say your life's work is a little different from mine. <laughs> Yesterday, I helped an old lady cross the road, as in I pushed her because the bike was coming. See? But I mean, whatever. The heart was in the not in the right place. Huh? Yeah. No. no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hundred plus rural yeah. hospitals. That's a pretty good. Piece yeah. Of work. Then yeah. five mobile hospitals. Then we work very closely with cancer patients. Mm-hmm. You know, navigation, treatment, um, really ensuring. Never ending. Uh, it's a, it's now dead, as I yeah. ease and I find more and yeah. more people around me. There's so no, many. It, yeah. It's like a death wish yeah. in, in both ways, right? Because you financially you're just financially, yeah, and yeah. On the other side, there's no yeah. real cure. So it's like you know, creating an awareness. Early detection is so important mm. because that really brings down the financial Correct. burden. Yeah. But people don't but give how, that. What do people pay? When I'm looking at what what, yeah. what the upper middle class society is society paying. is paying. Yeah. What happens to? That's why Tata is overwhelmed. It's a lifeline. Everybody comes. Yeah, there from everybody the east comes. From the north. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. So they've actually started setting up satellite hospitals all over the country, and you know. People should actually go there in their own states yeah. and stuff, but many of them just want to come to Mumbai, right? Because of the name. Because of the yeah. name, and they trust it and things like that. But yeah, so it's very overwhelming. Mm. So we work with Tata very closely with you know for patient care, mm-hmm. focusing a lot on head and neck cancer. I'll tell you a cheaper. Sorry to be insensitive, but cheaper option is homeopathy. You know, I believe. Alternate, scary. no, no. Alternate therapies can help, but you cannot not do your. Yeah, that's true. Once it's deep in the yeah, situation, you have to do your treatment. Chemo and all that stuff. You take your alternate therapies separately, along with chemo, along with your surgery. Some require surgery. Some require just chemo and surgery. So it depends on what kind of. Uh, One philosopher on TV who said, if you breathe three times from this nostril and then three times from that nostril, your body will be healthy. I mean, that would save a lot of money. Also. Yoga. Those poses at my age, I can't get out of. So I'm just stuck like that. I'm You're waiting stuck. for Pasa Bhai to come to the place and you know put you back together. So it's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a fan of yoga. Uh-huh. I think they overrated you. You like yeah. it? Yeah, oh, I love, love yoga. But, I do only yoga. But men, this whole thing with the it gives you therapeutic therapeutic benefits and all. Do you believe? Yeah, all that? yoga, meditation, but, bre- no breathing. Breathing is important. Uh, even but, when you work out, of course, it's important. You'll die. If you <laughs> no, but the kind of breathing uh-huh. then, yeah, it's just. Like when you're wa- lifting weights, you stop breathing when you like. No, no, no. Of course not. But I'm saying this. I don't know. Just I get bored with yoga. Many I, people I do. Sit still. Many know, people do. It's just. And why do they talk in this ponderous way also? <laughs> now breathing. <laughs> now breathe out. It's like a comedy show, you know. And you know, normally the person has to be good English, but big words. So that's a horrible, you know. <laughs> in your asparagus, <laughs> let out the bread. In your dad palm, <laughs> let in the bread. And you're like you know, so I I can't focus after that. You know, because my mind think about you, you can't. You, can't, you can no. definitely not do yeah. yoga. And very occasionally, we've had place things where you have a partner and the bad breath of the partner, and you get out gas in the middle. There have been experiences, and yoga is a very dangerous thing to do if you're not trained. You know, you've got to be like a commando at yoga. You know, then you can. I don't. I I feel they just allow anyone to do yoga. You should be trained properly and then you correct. Practice it. Correct. Okay, but this is not what the foundation is doing. But we will run out of time. But, yes. Um. Uh, anything else you want to add? 
No, I think because I'm very haphazard anchor when it comes to interviews. The guests always so get we, uh, angry. So, so in the foundation, <laughs> we also do education. So we do scholarship programs. Okay. So we have about four hundred to five hundred kids. This is what primary onwards or? An eighth grade to higher education. Post. Yeah, post. Wow. So a lot of our kids. So you can help people get proper jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, kids are doing engineering, IT, uh, computer. Anyone build the Gokhale Bridge? Not yet. <laughs> Someone will for sure. <laughs> <laughs> A better one. Yeah, you are an engineer in Mumbai. I'm like, are you? Are you the one? Not so good, these guys. Yeah. So that's great. They actually get vocational sort of help. Help. Some some have become doctors, dentists, nurses. uh, So so they need the funds. So we need more funds for the Nagesh Foundation. Yes. Imagining there's no end to funds because. We always require funds. Yeah, yeah. I think funds are something which is the most important. I, I mean, to park your fancy car down, you'll need funds. Yeah, I have my Tata here. Yeah. You have your Tata? Tata. Oh, you're a big Tata fan, huh? I am. Everything. I am. But Tata I'm, EV. No, I'm, Environmental oh, friendly. You have an EV? Yeah. But I'm very scared of these EVs. Why? Uh, what about this? The battery doesn't last long enough. But no? Bandra, it's good, yeah. But you're not always only going to Bandra. I mean, you're not only in your environment. What if you want to go outside and all that? Pune and all you can't go. Yeah. Yeah, that is a bit. So then we need to wait for them to make it a little bit yeah. more. So you, and you need think about it. No, you no just more chargers on the way and, and stuff. Charging. Chargers and charging. Yeah. It can't be like yoga. <laughs> okay, now do your yoga class, we'll charge. You know, here's your, put on your... And men, men shouldn't wear those tights and do yoga. And some of these... Mod- Have you seen Indian men in South Bombay on their cycles? <laughs> no. They wear these tight cycling shorts, you know. And, and it's just scary. They look like three bananas. Oh God. Three bananas on a seat. Literally. Have you seen? I mean, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm no beauty, but you know. I'm like, why are you wearing that? It's five in the morning. I mean, don't do that to other people. I tell it's you. It's not fair. There should be an aesthetic uh, minister. Hmm. Firstly, who? Have you seen? Uh, the quality of the posters will tell you aesthetic or minister. This paradox. Oh God. Really. God. But my big worry for Mumbai is what if uh, nobody uses the metro? After all Oh this, God, don't say that. Through? After we've all gone through what no, we've gone yeah, the through. Whole, the blueprint is like uh, uh, New York where you've yeah. been and all that. It's because rich and poor, middle class... Everybody all, yeah. uses that. Correct, exactly. correct. So yeah. If they don't use it, then what... Then, yeah. Oh. If these... Yeah, everybody's still wanting to go in their cars everywhere. Yeah. It's Nothing is going to change. Exactly. Then, yeah. yeah. True. God, I might have to enter politics to save the country. <laughs> Please. Oh, which party? <laughs> Just make some calls. I'll start with Lions Club Matunga. <laughs> Correct. And then I'll move up from there. Move up from there. <laughs> okay, Rohit asked a question as we run out of time. Cyrus Brota wants to be a Rajya Sabha member. Uh, can you guide him about the pros and cons and the road ahead? My good friend Milin will uh, soon be a Yeah. Probably you should Rajya ask Sabha. Milin, no? Yeah. If you want to be Rajya, Rajya Sabha member. Sabha. <laughs> the, 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 the is better. Hmm? Uh, when you were... Uh, when you were uh, in the business, have you been to both the canteens? Yeah. And so apparently Rajya Sabha is better canteen. Better canteen, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, slightly more. Yeah. Posh. Posh. Yeah. Yeah. You can say it, it's okay. <laughs> it's Lok Sabha. Rajya has already gives you that, Even rank that thing. R- yeah, it's fine. ranking. It's fine. But I wouldn't Actually, I haven't gone to the new parliament, but... So I don't know yeah, what that's like. <laughs> yeah, could be. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I would love to get a Rajas Sabha nomination. I want to be like, you know, like some of our film stars who've been there and cricketers and all who don't do anything. I want to be that <laughs> guy. So you attend yeah. a lot of fanfare and all that. And attend then, all the sessions and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Sending messages to your daughter about what time you're going home. <laughs> <laughs> While India's burning in the background. Yeah. Uh, Sunny says your favorite performances are, this is a good question. Of your dad and your mom and your brother Sanjay Dutt, also mm. a, a tough one. Now, could you name one? It'd be tough. So my brother is Vastav. Oh. Mm. Mm. And Munna Bhai. Yeah. I love him in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then my father was to Mujhe Ji ne do and Rishmar Shira. Such what the oldest. Oh, yeah, yeah, these were his. Yeah. And, mom? and very old films. Mom was. Uh, I liked her. Mom in, discovered as a teenager. Yeah. Yeah. Rath or then I really liked her in Mother mm-hmm. India, of course. Mm-hmm. Both my mom and dad. Did you and ever feel like acting then after that, after watching nah. your mom? Like when no. you come out of the whatever screening, you probably saw it on a video or something. Mm. Yeah, no, 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 I. You didn't think that's my mom. Yeah, yeah, of course. I used to feel no, really like, nice. That I can also do it and all that. No, no. I never felt like that. <laughs> but in a sense, you did that about your dad because you went and did that walk and whatever, and it's almost like you. Yeah, him, him kind of thing, yeah. yeah. But no, I just never had that thing about. Yeah. <laughs> And who's your favorite out of the three as a performer? Mean question. Don't answer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mean question. <laughs> it's, a mean question. it's pointless. 
Sakleen uh, says in a podcast interview, a Pakistani scholar recalled his meeting with Sunil Dutt Saab. This could be from Pakistan. And how he traced the history of Dutt Brahmins all the way back to the Battle of Karbala. Mm. Could you tell us about this fascinating history? Do you know all this? A bit, yeah. So, the Dutts were the Hussein. They are called the Husseini Brahmins. Okay. And they fought with the Prophet in the Battle of Karbala. With or against? With the Prophet. Okay, on his you know, side. Yeah, yeah, on his side. And that's why they were known as the Husseini Brahmins. Hence yeah, so and what were they doing in uh, Arabia? So they were uh, the, this Again, that walking. clan. I think. I think. <laughs> no, I think. Your, I'll just go for a walk, mom. <laughs> Next thing you'll be Arabia. <laughs> so they were they were not on any side or anything. They were, I think, uh, like mercenaries. Yeah, I think. Oh. You know, they were like mercenaries, but they took. But they're Brahmins who were fighting. Yeah, but the yeah they were the that Brahmins hmm. and they uh, fought for the. Prophet. Yeah. With the Prophet. In the Battle of Karbala. In the, in the Battle of Karbala. So this is a true thing. Yeah, this is a true thing. And his, yeah. you trace your father's descent from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So he used to tell us these stories and it's a it's a very big uh, thing. Even the, you know, all the Muslims Scholars know, know, yeah, about, know it. about it. Yeah. Mm. Hemisha, one of our regulars says, which is the one band or solo artist who you would want your husband to organize in India? Oh, we haven't spoken about what he does. So uh, is there some artist or... John Mayer. John Mayer. See, Sting, my favorite, has already been here. Yeah. But John Mayer and like now, no, <laughs> no. What? No. <laughs> Did you see him? Now, if you want to fight. <laughs> no. You know, can say anything. No problem. Mommy, daddy. All. Sub But still, how dare you? <laughs> you? You didn't see him in Lola? I'm a, I'm a Beatles fan. I, 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 I saw part of 69, 70. Really? I don't like music after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I want, I want to do it. You keep telling him. Bring John but, Mayer. But is he also a little bit past his prime now? Who? John Mayer? No, yeah. Sorry. I don't think so. That's I don't think so. <laughs> I'm going to go for my walk. I'll be back in 79 days. Sorry. Uh. Bruce Springsteen? Come on, he's really old now. I've seen no. He, they they hold him up on stage. <laughs> no. Like, that's how he puts his hand up. Born in the USA. Somebody else puts it. I mean, I, uh, he's too good. Yeah, he's too good. He's but too good. Yeah, really. Yeah. So I think there are so many more that have to come hmm. to Bombay, India. Who's your Indian musician? Tough? Tough. I'll give you three. Farguni? <laughs> no. No. No She's very good. I am not a Dandia person. Not a Dandia person. <laughs> I'm not a Dandia person. <laughs> what could be better form of uh, love? I'm than such a, a bad dancer. Than a couple with four sticks between them. <laughs> I mean, five minutes you'll start beating each other. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. Uh, okay. What about? Tell me the other names. Arijit Singh is the flavor. But I don't know whether you like the modern, what well, not modern, the contemporary musicians. I mean, Sonu, uh, Sonu Nigam. Sonu Nigam is good. It's fantastic. Yeah, he's good. Arijit is also good, but. Okay, whatever generation... But I love Kishore can... Kumar. Oh, that's fair. You don't have to change. Yeah. I that's love fine. Kishore Kumar. And any Japanese music that influenced <laughs> you, like Hiroshima and Nagasaki, uh, what bands were playing there? I don't know. I didn't have really go through them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been fantastic. But we've Lovely spoken talking too you. long. I know. Usual. But really, I a fabulous story, especially the 78 day march and then the subsequent part two sequel in Japan. <laughs> the I mean, sequel. It has to be sequel. <laughs> Uh, yeah so thank you thank, thank you so much Service Love Foundation if you're interested not interested do the right thing and send a little money it's helping so many people there yes. have been hundreds of hospitals lots of people are getting an education people who will never have a chance in life in our uh, slightly what's the word uh, despairing uh, society not despairing correct what's the word uh, when there's a difference oh yeah disparities disparities god <laughs> mine is age Yours is Japanese. Mine is age also. <laughs> but yeah, so just try to help as many people as you can. I, yeah. I, not to boast, but would you reckon how many people have benefited between... The kids, the... I think more than... Gee, we've been doing this for a while. At least 4,000 maybe. I've got education. Yeah, so. yeah. I, I'm talking about uh, vocational, like they've... Uh, this, no, that would be much less. Yeah. That would be much less about... Uh, a thousand kids, at it's least. At yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe one day. I'll Who've also... all you know passed out and uh, have got jobs? They've got. We've got such uh, very amazing stories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did they come back and help then? Oh yeah, always. We have that component where yeah. you have to give back. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Really high. Really high you know. Yeah. yeah. So they're mentoring the other kids also. You know who who are doing the same thing and so yeah. So, We're doing that with our podcast as well. We call underprivileged podcasters not underprivileged <laughs> from uh, you know finance but just underprivileged in thought in thought plenty of them and then we put them here we take them through it <laughs> we try to try to make the world a better place I'm sure
Anyway, I've stopped drinking, I so I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really empty and bare. I'm just thinking about this walk. Me, but the weather in India is not good, yeah. Walking, na? Seventy. Even I am. You're going to get some bad weather. You know? <laughs> yeah, you will. You're not going to survive. It. Either heat or rain will be there for sure. Sorry. Yeah. Should have. You have to see our photographs at that time. You, but you. Did you think about all this? Think it through, na. No? You're just there. Yeah, you're just there. If you had, if you thought it through, you would never have done it. I think. You think? No, as in the sense that. No, but I thought it through, na. No? With uh, Japan, I still do it. Yeah, that's true. Then. Yeah, and they have tsunamis. What were you thinking? Yeah. Anyway, all right. That's it from us. Bye bye. I will see you. Thank soon. you so much. Thank you, Priya. Priya, it's uh, two hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just write a check. Uh, check, huh? G pay. <laughs> oh, G pay. Uh, G means government. <laughs> G pay.